Hi guys, welcome to It's Kidding Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi! This is unedited and I was going to go wrong. This is going to be unedited and I'm already messing up. As you can tell, there's no music or intro or anything. That's because um, I kind of was up late um, helping my niece make a really cute video for her. She's running for student council. You guys know Kaylee. It's for her. And she's so freaking adorable. I was helping her edit her video for it. So I didn't really film a video for this channel. And it kind of works out better that way because I really just wanted to sit down and have a serious talk instead. Um, that's what I was going to do anyway. So I might as well just do it and not edit it. And whatever comes out, comes out. So you're welcome. <laughs> I'm really digging the lighting in here. It makes me look like I have really good skin. I'm sort of okay with it in here. I'm in my new living room, by the way. Not my new, I mean, it's my new living room, but it's my, you haven't seen it yet. I'll give you a tour tomorrow. Don't be mad. I promise I will. Because I want to show you my finished office also, which I'm so excited about. So we'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, so there have been some things that have been bothering me a lot. And it's stuff that I have not talked to you guys about, and I have not talked to Danny about, and I have not talked to my mom about. I haven't talked to one single soul on this earth about it because it hurts so bad. Well, first of all, maybe I will edit this because I do want to like put in a clip of yesterday. That I, I was sitting on the toilet yesterday, and I completely broke down and just started crying. And you guys know that I do not cry ever. Um, it's super rare that I actually cry, partially because I'm dehydrated, partially because I'm sick, partially because I swallow my tears and I get embarrassed about it for some stupid reason. Anyway, um, but I was on the toilet watching YouTube and out of nowhere, I just started crying. I'm totally on the toilet crying. So anyway, um, that's, that happened and I, that's the first time I've like cried, cried like that for myself anyway in a long time and it really got me thinking and kind of connecting the dots of what's really been going on with me lately that I just have been avoiding because it's so hard for me to talk about. Um, so I have been feeling lately like... I've been feeling guilty maybe, I think guilty is a good word, and also sad that I don't slash probably can't have children. Um, because I, I am a part of, so I have a very strong belief in God. I have a very strong belief in the religion that I'm a part of. Um, you guys know us as Mormons. Um, we prefer to be called Latter-day Saints, but whatever, Mormons is fine if that's how you can um, remember better. But um, in our religion, I feel like it's top priority to procreate and to, I mean, if you think about it, that's kind of the point of everything, right? If, if we didn't keep on making babies, then um, the world would be really boring and lonely and there would be no humans here to experience it. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. You know what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, obviously, so, but in my religion, we, our number one focus is family and uh, I mean, besides faith in God and Jesus Christ and all that stuff, but our main focus, our main agenda is to build families and to spread our love and knowledge and teach our children and grandchildren and be that example that we all need for each other. Um, and I come from a family of six siblings. I have four, I have, I have three blood siblings and I have two, uh, uh, step siblings that have children. Um, oh wait, so I have seven, wait, five. Oh gosh, I can't do math. What, what is thinking? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I'm just rambling. Okay. Um, I didn't want this to be long. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so my family, 
basically, and I'm talking about this, the part of my family where my mom remarried to my stepdad. I have other step siblings, but I, but I don't see them often. So I'm talking about the ones that I do see often, which are Liz and Julie, my Italian stepsisters. Um, so anyway, I've got Angela. This is in order of age, okay? Forget the step stuff. Who cares? We're all siblings. So I've got Angela, Michelle, Mike, Liz, myself, and then Julie. That's the order of age. Um, and every single one of my siblings has at least two children. Um, and my sister Julie is about to give birth, as you guys know. Oh, by the way, she's safe now, by the way. I forgot to tell you guys that. She's she was able, I think, to go back home. I don't know details. All she posted was that she was home safe. I don't know if she means her home in Florida or the other destination she was going to because what? Aren't, isn't it still in her? I don't know. I really should. That's all I know. All I know is she said she's safe. So I'll let you know more in tomorrow's video, like detailed update about her. So thank you guys for being concerned for her. And I'm sure she would thank you too if she were here. So, um, Anyway, what was I talking about? Um, 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 okay, so Julie is about to give birth and it's kind of like felt or known or felt, I don't know the word, that that's probably going to be the last grandchild on our side of the family. Um, and so, I mean, unless she has more later, but I don't know if she will. I don't know. But for me, I've been the past couple months I've been having dreams a lot about my baby girl um and I've been uh feeling empty lately and I've been feeling like maybe that's the only thing that can fill the emptiness inside of me um and but I'm also terrified because I don't think that I can take care of a baby. Um, we know that I most likely can't have a child. It's probably like a 1% chance that I can have a child. Um, as far, like bear a child, like be pregnant and bear a child. Um, and of course there's adoption and surrogacy and all those other options too. But my concern has always been that I also, it's not just that I can't carry a child. It's that I can't take care of a child. I don't I barely have enough energy to get through my day alone, taking care of myself and taking care of my husband as best I can. Um, how am I supposed to care for a child? But it's like, I don't know if it's because Danny is gone so often now or if it's because we have our own home again, which has been a different experience. Um, after seven years of living with my parents, we have our own home now. And it's like, I just have this like nesting instinct inside of me. Like, I don't know what is going on, but I do know that it's. Oh gosh, it's hard. I do, I do know that. Let her out, let her rip, let her pour out of your eyes. What was that song? I like it. I do know that it's um, really been bothering me to the point of being back fully into bulimia. And I just can't believe it. I can't believe this. Um, and I've avoided like talking about it to you guys because <sighs> I don't know why. I guess I'm just a little bit afraid of people out there pointing out my biggest insecurity right now, which is that I did fail and I did, um, mess up everything that I'd worked so hard for. <laughs> But I also know in my heart that um, that I'm doing my very actual best that I can do. And 
I think right now is proving that because I just, I need to speak the words about how bad, how bad it is right now. It's not anywhere near as bad as my worst or anything like that, but I definitely have been binging and purging every day. Maybe I've missed a day here and there, but pretty much every day for the past few weeks. Um, and it's like when it happens, I, it's like the thought, it, it, it's triggered by the same thing every time. And the same thing is this topic is my, gosh, my, the fact that I have destroyed my body and I can't have or take care of a child and so why even, why even try? That's the only thing I ever wanted was to have a baby and it just slowly started fading away because I slowly got worse and worse and sicker and sicker to the point that I couldn't I couldn't do it. I can't do it. Um, oh. <coughs> and one of the worst things to happen in recovery is feeling like a failure because feeling like a failure is for me anyway, I don't know about you guys, but one of my absolute biggest triggers um, and just thinking about a future that I may never have is a big trigger. Um, but I'm just really disappointed in myself because I did work so hard to get to the point that I got to and I was so happy and I was so ready and I was so, and it's like, I don't know why. I just don't know where it all came from, but it just has hit me really hard and I haven't talked to you guys about it. I haven't talked to anybody about this. So, I don't know what else to say. I, I just, um, I'll probably just ramble and keep repeating myself if I keep talking and um, I just don't know what else to say. I just, just thank you, I guess, for the love that I know you're already going to give me because you guys are so amazing. <laughs> like, you, you guys have, you have no idea how cool you are. So I hope that each and every one of you can seriously, like, look at this girl who's sitting here crying at three in the morning by herself on her couch being a little pathetic loser I'm just kidding I'm not a loser but and I'm crying because you guys are so beautiful and so wonderful inside and out and you guys keep me going and your comments keep me going so thank you ahead of time for what you're about to give me and if you are a troll that's gonna leave a mean comment it's fine I'm I made a decision a few days ago to stop listening to that. I don't need that anymore in my life. Um, obviously, I'm not perfect, and I'm sure I'll slip up. But right now, I'm just going to try and focus on you, the ones that really have my best interests at heart and that love me. And that's you guys, my Shani families. And um, I couldn't be more grateful. I feel very lucky and very, very, very blessed. Um, Okay, I'm going to go. I don't know what this video is, but I hope it was okay. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I love you guys. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye!